replacing the grommets on a Venko pottery machine. Um, I found a way that works a little better than what I've seen people advertising on YouTube. Um, I get a 5.8 socket, two decent sized washers that fit over the, that are slightly bigger than the grommets. Um, you need to make sure that, um, that the grommet that you use is, you can see clearly if you look at it, you'll see that one side's a little bit thinner than the other. The one's got a flange, so the flange goes on the outside and the little bit, this side goes inside. Okay, so I put this, I get this 5.8 socket. I put the, the bolt that came, came out of part of the machine, just the ordinary size bolt. I put it in the 5.8 socket so that it's actually in there, so it doesn't turn. That's why it's a 5.8 socket, so it's actually locked into the, in, into the socket. Then I get a washer, and I put a washer on the end, on here. Okay, then I get the grommet. Make sure it's the right way around with a little flange sticking up here. And I'll put the little flange on here. I'll put that on there and I'll push it all through so that that's all stood through there. Then what I do then is I take it up and I put it in the hole like this. And I sit it in the middle. Okay, so now I've got the, the 5 8 socket on there with the grommet in the middle. And at the back, there's just the nut and a washer on the other side. Okay, so I get this ratchet spanner. I just put it on the back here. I'm just going to tighten that up. So I'll just tighten it a little bit. That's it, just enough to make sure it's centered. So just make sure this is centered in the hole. See, so it's a little bit high there, so we just pull it down a bit. That's it. Just make it look so it's nicely centered. And I get the heat gun. This heat gun's a, just a Makita heat gun, it works well. I just warm it up. Just gently warm it up. Just get it nice and warm. It's not too hot, you don't want to melt it. I think too much heat is probably enough. Just get it a little bit warm. There we go. Okay. Now I'm just going to tighten this up. I'm just going to, there you go, you can see I've tightened that up now. So the 5 8 socket is the same size as the, as the bolt that's in there. So I'll tighten that up to there. And it's tightened up against the washer at the back. I'm going to take it all off and then I'll show you again. So after I've got that in, that's in now. You can see it's just like the one on the other side. It's just in place. So I, what I do there is I get this bar, which is part of it. And that's exactly the size to go through. And I'll put this in the side, in, inside here. And I just push it in and just circle it a little bit. And there you go, look. And that just makes sure it's seated all the way around on the inside as well. And that just gives you that seating that you've got here. That just makes sure it's just sitting on the outside and it's not going to pop back out. And that's what I've done for each one, and that seems to have worked so far. Same with all the grommets on this, exactly the same principle. I just put a, in fact I um, just used a bolt and washers on there, just a continuous threaded bolt. I didn't use a socket because I didn't need the extra size. I just used two spanners. And I did that, both of those, that one there, that one there on the other side, and that one there exactly the same way. So, that should, um, hopefully that'll help. There you go. Good luck.